Well, hello, good people. Would you like to learn how to make an easy, simple balloon garland that's jungle themed? Let me show you. So, we are going to be using today a balloon air pump. You can get this bad boy from Amazon or the party store. We have our scissors laying around the house, a pencil, fishing line string from Walmart, and then the colors that we're going to be using today are deluxe white sand, gray balloons, I love these things, so elegant, love that color, I mean. And we have forest green. And lastly, we have clear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually double stuff some of my green balloons inside of clear balloons to give it a really elegant look. You can do it, it's easy. I trust you. Alrighty, so let's get this thing started. I know you got a birthday party to plan. I know you're the hostess with the mostest, that's me. So let's do it. Alrighty. So I got my balloon air pump plugged up and ready to go. Now I'm gonna crank out these balloons. This is how you're gonna blow them up. Grab two balloons. These are 11 inch size balloons. We're gonna be using 11 inch and five inch in some colors. You're going to take the two balloons, put them on the pump. And then I like to make mine round it. So I'll let out a little air and then I'll just use my body or you can use your table to actually make them more rounded looking. And then you're gonna tie them together, like so. And then I'm gonna throw these bad boys on the floor and keep it moving. So another thing with regards to the size of the balloons, I'm doing a variation of sizes. Uh, that's what's trendy right now in terms of balloon garlands. So it doesn't need to be perfect, but it will look amazing at the end. This balloon garland is very affordable. I get a lot of my balloons from bargainballoons.com. So if you want more um, thick balloons that look like a higher quality, you can go there for them. Okay guys, so now I'm actually gonna show you how to make double stuff balloons. So the reason why I am making the double stuff balloons is because I like the way it looks. I'll show you one blown up without double stuff so you can see the difference. So this is a regular um, 11 inch forest green balloon. And let me show you when I double stuff it in a clear balloon. So you don't have to do this. This is only if you're like the hostess with the mostess like me, then you should do this. So we have our green balloon and then clear balloon. I'm using a regular pencil. And then I'm just gonna easily slip that over top. So when you have a double stuff balloon, while you're blowing it up, you do wanna stretch it out because that's gonna make it easier to blow up. <laughs> So let me show you the difference between the two colors. So here is the green balloon inside of the clear balloon. It's more glossy. And this is a regular green balloon without the clear balloon on top. So I'm actually gonna be using both for this balloon garland. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna be doing five inch balloons. I have deluxe white sand. Bada boom, bada bing. I got green. Five inch balloons are my favorite because it gives it uh, gives the garland texture and it switches the variation of the sizes up. So I'm super excited. This is gray. I'm gonna do quads of each of these colors together. So 
You can use your air pump for the five inch as well. You can blow them up. You do want to get them around the same size, but it's not a big deal if you don't. You're going to tie these two together. Pop. And then we're going to do another set of two. And then you're gonna take each set of two and wrap them around three or four times to make sure that they're in this cute little small cluster. So now I'm gonna do that for the rest of the colors. Guys, please subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more about how to make balloon garlands and different decorations for events at home. Please comment, please like, it goes a very long way. Now back to the show. Okay, guys, so now I am going to be putting the balloons together. So all the balloons are blown up and I am going to basically take sets of balloon and wrap them around each other. So you can do variations. You can do two sets. You can do sets of three. You can do sets of four. Don't forget that this is just all abstract art. So you don't have to worry too much about getting it perfect. The five inch balloons that we're gonna add later are gonna do a great job at making the balloon garland come together. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to put these clusters together to make the balloon garland. So I have my fishing line string that I'm gonna use. You can keep it actually on the roll while you go. So take a cluster, any cluster, and you're gonna tie the fishing line string around one balloon. So what you wanna do is make sure that you tie it two times. You can tie it tight. If the balloon pops, it's okay. There's more where you got that from. And then you are going to take another color and you're gonna begin wrapping the fishing line string around several balloons in order to bring the clusters together. Alrighty, that's two clusters together. So now you're gonna watch me put the rest of them. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be installing the balloon garland to this wall. This is my living room space in my office. I just happen to have these pictures up already. My vision is to actually make it an L-shaped balloon garland. So it's gonna go up along the side on the left and kind of curl over a little bit over the top. So it should be super duper cute. I use command hooks to install the balloon garland. So my favorite are the command hooks that have this little silver loop because it makes it easier to install the garland. So what I'm gonna do is take off the command strip, stick it on there to the hook, and my first hook is actually going to be installed on the bottom right here. So you wanna make sure that you hold it on there. I like to do like a good 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna take about, let's say three feet of fishing line string, cut that off, and then you're gonna tie the fishing line string to your hook. So I like to tie mine two times. 
Occasionally, the hooks might come off if you don't stick them well, or it could be like the wall if it's like a glossy paint. So sometimes you wanna put like an extra piece of tape over the command hook. But we're gonna try with that, YOLO. Alrighty, so that's one, and I'm gonna do it two more times. One here, and then one above the painting. And if I need more, I'll go from there. So, even though my favorite hook is the one that I showed you guys, I happen to have a couple of these laying around, so I'm gonna use those two. 10 seconds. Please don't mind my dry hands. That's how you know I'm a hard worker. Okay, so it may be helpful to actually use a step stool or ask for extra hands around the house for installing the balloon garland. I am going to do it by myself, but what we're gonna do, take the balloon garland, I'm gonna do my first hook, which is down at the bottom. So I'm gonna take that string and I'm gonna wrap it tight around the balloons in my balloon garland. So you wanna go around a good seven balloons just to try to make sure that it's not going anywhere. And make sure it's as tight as possible so that it's as close to the wall as you can get it. So while you are um, wrapping the string around the balloons, make sure you're pulling tight as well. And voila, our balloon garland is up on the wall. That took like two minutes, right? If it takes you five, it's okay, as long as you get it up. Alrighty, so I'm stepping back and looking at the balloon garland. I'm gonna start playing around with it so that I can get the shape that I want. I want the base of my garland to come out a little bit. So, I'm gonna move stuff around. So I can get it the way I want it. I also have extra clusters and I'm going to add it to the base to give it like a little chunky tail. When I'm adding my clusters, I'm going to use some fishing line string to add more clusters to the balloon garland. Again, it's about three feet of fishing line string. I'm gonna use a deluxe white sand cluster here because that's where I feel like it should go. I like my garlands to have like a little, like I like for it to flare up a little bit at the very top. So that's why you see me adjusting them around. Now it's five inch time, and let me show you what these five inch balloons do. Alrighty, so you have a couple options for your five inch balloons in terms of how you put them on. You can either wrap it directly around the balloon using um, just one balloon. So you take one balloon, of one five inch balloon, and you wrap it into your garland or an easy way is to take some fishing line string as well if you still have more take about two feet for the five inch balloons you are going to tie your fishing line string into your clustered five inch balloons. And we're gonna add this puppy into it. So let's go here. So now I'm gonna add some more five inch balloons in. Where I'm adding them is just like scattered throughout, but I'm keeping the five inch balloons 
with their same color 11 inch balloons. Um, but if you want a different design, that's a possibility. Um, you can just put it wherever you want. Okay guys, so now I am going to use microfiber, like a microfiber cloth. I happen to have balloon shine, but you don't have to get this, um, but it is available on Amazon if you do want it. It does make it look super cute because we're gonna shine the balloons and it definitely adds a great touch to it. So this microfiber cloth you can get from Amazon or it's the same cloth that your husband uses to wax the cars so you can ask them to borrow a new one not borrow steal it so for the balloon shine you are going to spray it a couple times onto your microfiber cloth and then you're going to start shining your balloons and taking off the the random things that the balloons have picked up since you've been tossing them on the floor Oh, before I finish balloon shining, I'm gonna add some palm leaves that I have just to really top this puppy off. It's best to put artificial greenery into your balloon garland before you balloon shine, just to ensure that it sticks to the balloons well. When you have balloon shine on balloons and then you try to use blue dots and artificial floral, um, it won't stick well to the shiny balloons. So let me slow down a little bit and get my palm okay guys so i got these palm leaves from amazon i'll include a link below to those so what i like to do is i take the end of it and i wrap it around like this and then typically i'll put tape around the sharp end so that it doesn't pop my balloons so i did that here already so now we're going to take the little stem part tuck that puppy behind your palm leaf so that it's not visible. And then I have glue dots that I also get from Amazon. Here's my glue dot strips. I swear by these puppies. And I'm going to stick two glue dots onto the back of my palm leaf like so. I got nails the other day, I'm trying to be fancy. Let's see if I can get it off. Victory! So there's one glue dot, and then I'll do the second one. Let me see if I can make it look easier this time. Rub it on there a little bit. Nope, I can't. Peel that puppy off, and then I'm gonna stick it inside of a balloon so i think here would be super cute to have a palm leaf and you want to make sure you tuck the stem behind the balloon so now that glue dot is attached to the balloon and look how cute that is so i'm just going to put it in a few other areas and then i'm going to continue balloon shining For this balloon garland, I used a total of 2011 inch forest green balloons, 2011 inch deluxe white sand balloons, 2011 inch gray balloons, 10 11 inch clear balloons with regards to the five inch balloons. I used 30 of each color. Guys, please subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about how to create these balloon decorations. Please like, please comment. It goes a long way. I appreciate you. Guys, this is the finished product. What do you think? 
Um, here you could put a happy birthday banner or you could put a picture of the kiddo. This is a little furniture piece that I found around the warehouse that I just threw here. But here you have your jungle themed balloon garland. It's easy to do, it's possible to do. Yours is not gonna look exactly like mine and mine is not gonna look exactly like yours, but you can do this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Until next time.